Alexander Volkanovsky has taken on Islam Mahachev in the main event of UFC 284, which is going down this weekend. Volkanovsky has the opportunity to become just the fifth person in UFC history to hold double champ status. This is massive. It's also the first time the number one and number two ranked pound for pound fighters are gonna fight. I can't wait. Here are my quick pick predictions for the main card, starting with Tyson Pedro versus Modestus Mikauskas. This is the prelim headliner, but I still wanted to talk a little bit about it. Tyson Pedro, we didn't see him for about four years. He had some really bad knee injuries, went away, had a load of reconstructive surgery, 2018 to 2022. He's come back, he's got two knockouts, and he's on great form. Modestus Bukowskis had a run in the UFC before. He went one and three, and his last loss was a brutal, brutal KO against Khalil Roundtree. Khalil came in and hit him with a perfectly timed oblique kick and absolutely destroyed his knee. He went away, recovered, did everything he needed to do, went back to Cage Warriors, became the light heavyweight champion again, and he's racked up some wins. He's now stepping in on very short notice to fly halfway around the world and take on Tyson Pedro. I really like Tyson Pedro. What worries me is the level of competition he's fought when he's come back. Ike Villawaneva is absolute dog shit, and Harry Hunsucker got knocked out by everybody in the first round. Modestus didn't fight better competition out of Cage Warriors, so this fight could really go anyway. I'm gonna to have to lean with the hometown boy. I'm gonna take Tyson Pedro to get it done here. Then we move on to Jimmy Crew versus Alonzo Manyfield. This is a fight I'm really looking forward to. I really enjoy watching Jimmy Crew fight. He gets a little bit too confident on his feet. He's a much better grappler, jiu-jitsu artist than he is a striker. He got a bit too confident last time out and Jamal Hill knocked him out. The time before that, he had that weird leg injury against Anthony Smith. Alonzo Manyfield is on very good form. He came into the UFC a little bit older, started his career a little bit older. He is 35 or 36. Jimmy Crew is coming off two losses. I believe Alonzo is coming off two wins. And somehow Crew is a huge, huge favorite here. I want to pick Jimmy Crew, but I can't see why Manyfield is such a big underdog. He's on better form. He's got decent takedown defense. Obviously, if Crew gets him to the ground, he's going to give him some issues. But Manyfield generally does have decent takedown defense and he's very explosive, athletic, and he's got huge power in his hands. The more I talk about it, the more I'm convincing myself that I should probably pick Manyfield. So I'm gonna take Alonzo Manyfield to get it done here by KO. Then we have Justin Taffer versus Parker Porter. Parker Porker, Porky Parker, fucking whatever his name is. Two big sloppy fucking heavyweights. These two, Taffer's got a record of five and three. Parker Porker. That's a fucking tongue twister, that. He's got a record of 12 and seven. Both of these two are dog shit, to be honest. But I think Justin Taffer being at home, having a bit of that Samoan strength, I think he's gonna knock the fuck out of Parker Porker. Parker <laughs> Porker. Either way, let's go. Justin Taffer via KO. Then this takes us to the featured bout of the evening. Jack Della Maddalena versus rude boy Randy Brown. I can't wait for this fight. Jack Della Maddalena is one of the hottest prospects in all of the UFC. The guy's boxing is just different. The way he slips and moves and gets on the inside, his shot selection, his fight IQ, he's just so fucking talented. Randy Brown is also very talented. Yeah, Randy Brown's a little bit older. Randy Brown's 32, Jack Della is 26. Randy's very, very well-rounded though. He's got six KOs, five submissions, might be the other way around. Either way, he's very well-rounded. He's not the best at taking you to the ground, but if the fight goes to the ground, he's got very slick BJJ. He's also very rangy, uses his distance well, but I just think Jack Della is on such good form, fighting at home. I'm gonna have to take Jack Della Maddalena to get it done here with a KO. This takes us to our co-main event for the interim featherweight championship of the world, Yair Rodriguez versus Josh Emmett. I am taking Yair to get it done here with a spectacular KO. That's just what I hope happens. I'm not the biggest fan of Josh Emmett. I think he lost to Calvin Cater, so I don't think he should really be in this position. That being said, Yai Rodriguez disappeared from 2019 to 2021, came back, lost to Max Holloway, and then Brian Ortega had that weird shoulder injury, which I do think Yaya caused, but still weird circumstances to end up in an interim title fight. Regardless, I want to see Yaya go out here and get some kind of crazy, spectacular KO. Josh Emmett is obviously very dangerous. The guy is one of the hardest hitters, pound for pound. He's got 
crazy power in his hands. I think he's got more power now. He's got that lovely ginger beard. I think Yaya is just going to be a bit too elusive, uses movement very, very well, and then end up catching Emmett here and getting the finish. Then this takes us to our main event for the lightweight championship of the world and the number one pound for pound spot in the UFC, Islam Mahachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky. This is huge. This is probably one of the biggest fights in UFC history. It's the first time the pound for pound number one and number two are gonna fight. Volk is obviously a little tank, but he's still little. He's 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, Islam is a very big 5'11", and he's strong as fuck. I desperately want Volk to win, let me be clear. I want Volkanovski to go out here and get a spectacular fucking KO finish and then become double champ. I just, that is what I want to happen. I love Volk, but I think Islam is going to be too big, too strong. Volkanovski didn't start mixed martial arts till he was 22 to help with his fitness for rugby. Islam came out of the fucking womb through shooting a double leg. The guy is born and bred to do this. I can't see Volk winning. I want Volk to win, but I can't see him winning. I think Islam's grappling pressure, even Islam's striking is coming along so much these days. So Alexander Volkanovsky versus Islam Mahachev. I'm gonna take Islam Mahachev to get it done here by a second or third round submission. I think he's gonna catch Volk, get him to the ground, and then submit him. What fight are you looking forward to most? Please let me know in the comments down below and subscribe if you enjoy MMA content. Thank you so much.